Okay. Hello, you all. I decided or I came across something that I think I wanted to share with you all. I thought I may share with you all. Some of you may all need. Some of you may need it. Some of you may not. Yeah, like I'm trying to use this tripod and it's sitting on my table. So I'm, I'm going to try to be as still as possible. But anyways, before we get into this video, make sure y'all like this video, subscribe to my channel, and give it a um, thumbs up. Well, it's liking, yeah. But anyways, do that, and then also comment down below. Um, so anyways, we're going to get into this video. So I was kind of looking for a picture. I wanted something easy. Well, easy but not easy. So we're going to just use this Mickey Mouse. So, if you have a SVG or a, a PNG file or a picture file, whichever way it is, you can um, go, if you go to your uh, photo album or your picture album, you can open it up and then you will have this little editor button. Let me see. I don't Now, let me see. I don't know what it's called. So, I'm just going to use this editor, edit and create button. And down below, it has edit with three, edit with paint 3D. So, you're going to select that paint. And so, what we're going to do is change the background. So, this is Minnie Mouse and she is dressed in pink. But let's say that I wanted Minnie Mouse to be dressed in purple instead. So, I can come over here. Oh, this a pink still. But it looks purple. So I could come over here. Let's do red so you can really see the color change. Or how about yellow? Let's do yellow. Okay, so I can come over here and select yellow. If I select yellow and I just click on it, it's a marker. So it's just going to be like a mark. It's not going to feel the whole thing. But if you want to paint it quickly, you want to come over here to this paint bucket and hit fill. And I'm already still on the yellow. And once I click fill, it's going to fill in everything that is close. So if I wanted to go and change this little... Uh, I don't want to feel a background, that color. So I can feel the background. Okay, so I can feel the background white if I wanted to. Um... Let's go ahead and make her back pink. So I'm going to erase this. I guess if I erase it, I got to go all the way. So I'm just going to hit back, 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 back. And I'm going to leave her background pink. And then I'm just going to hit the paint bucket. And I'm just going to transform her clothes into yellow. Let's say we want to make her clothes yellow. So, only thing I'm doing is trying to click inside the lines to make her clothes yellow. Then we can give her some yellow shoes. Then if you wanted to do a different shade of yellow, like how the pink is, you can just put click on a different shade. And you see how I made it a look darker. I'll put it on the shoes as well. I don't know if that was real dark. I tried to make it that gold looking color, but... I don't know if you can, uh, you all can tell or not. I can kind of see it. Uh oh. I bet you seen it when it changed, though, huh? So, just trying to stay in the lines. And you may also zoom in. So if if it's hard to do a piece because it's too small, just zoom in on it. And that'll help you get the piece colored. Okay. And what else we, can we change? We can look oh her belt. Let's change her belt. Okay. If you want to change the background to be yellow, you can do that as well. So I just wanted y'all to see how to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture of this. And then we will go back. Yeah, I don't know when you erase what it do. It don't take it back if you erase, just so you know. So I don't know how to get that. 
pink color back, I think you would have to go hit backspace if you wanted to go back to the same color that it was. But I'm just going to hit backspace because it wasn't noticeable like that with that red. But that's how you change a background. Now I'm going to go ahead and find another. Okay, so if you want to keep your picture that way, you can always save it um, by, yeah, I just started trying to use this thing, so, but I know you can save it. Let me see. Or you can take a screenshot of it. If you screenshot it, you can save it that way. And so let's go back in and see if I see my screenshot. So that's the screenshot. So that'll be the new picture that I created. So I'm assuming you screenshot it to get the picture that you want. And that way you can have your original picture still there and you can have the new, newer color. Okay, so I'm going to open one more up. See, the old one is still there as well. And then I still have the newer color saved under screenshot, which is here. Okay, I'm going to open this one up. So I haven't tried to attempt this one yet, but we're going to do the same thing. Edit and create. Edit with Paint 3D. And this is a rug wrap one. I'm not going to change much of it, but y'all know sometimes people be wanting to say, oh, can I get a brown or can I get this color person or whatever, you know, so... That's why I'm showing y'all this. So we have the little dark skinned or um, brown skin. Let's say brown skin rug rats. And they want to change them to Caucasian rug rats. You can do so, y'all. My coloring is not good, but you can go over here and find, find shades of coloring. So don't get on me for my coloring. Sorry, y'all. But you can get over here and find shades of color, and I'm just using what's here or what's shown. But as you can see, I can color them any way that I want to. Let's see how to find shades. Or maybe, let me see. Oh no. Okay, there you go. So if you click on it, you can find like different shades. So if that's too uh, pale looking, because it is very. You just go over here and find different shades. Yeah, I'm not good at finding shades for people colors and stuff, because I don't know nothing about that. To be honest, I don't see color that well. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh. Okay, let's try that. Maybe the same thing. Yeah, y'all. So, I don't know. But whenever you choose a picture, just try to choose a picture that has, like, good lines on it. Because if you don't, then it'll be kind of hard to color. It, will, it won't feel the correct way. And you will actually have to go in there with like this little fine marker and actually just try to color yourself to keep it right. And who got time for that? Not me. So, 
just wanted to show you all that so if you have something simple that you just want to change the color of their clothes or you know something like that you can use this and or if you're good with finding the right color making custom colors or you know choosing colors then you can always use this as well i'm not that good at all of it so yeah there you go hope you all like this video like i said give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thank you bye Okay, y'all, this um, is called, just so y'all want to know, it's called Paint 3D. Um, I don't know if you can search it in the search bar. I just found it. Um, actually, it is in the search bar. It's an app. I don't know if you can use it on your phone yet. I do know that it is on my computer, and it must automatically have been installed. I don't know, but I will go and look. To find out and if i was you i would use it because as you can see it's free on the computer anyways and it does easier work than some of the sites or some of the things that i have tried using in the past to change color so there you go thank you bye till next time